Good morning guys. It is about 11.30 and we're finally on the ship. Just did our muster station thing, our safety yep. training. And now we're about to go eat our first lunch, our first meal on the cruise. Um, and we're gonna do it in Central Park instead of the Windjammer. And then we're, after that, we're gonna go ahead and like make and confirm all of our dining reservations. But let me show you guys how cool Central Park looks. All of these plants are real. There's like, I think uh, over a thousand different species, I believe. So we're just gonna head over to Park Cafe and make our, well, I need some food. What'd you get? We're outside Park Cafe and got my salad. It's just romaine, spinach, cucumbers, red onions, chicken, and raspberry vinaigrette. And he also got a salad, but I think you got Caesar, right? Basically, right, right. He got a Caesar salad and a tuna melt, which is my first time, well, both of our first time having a tuna melt. And it's not that bad. Oh, we try to go to our room, but it's not open yet. 30 minutes to go. Our room is ready. And I have a birthday surprise. Here's our key. Ooh. Oh, we have a table. Ah! Cute. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm so happy we have a table. You guys, we made it in the room. Got some birthday banners. And the room is really cute. I'm so excited that we have a table. We never have a table. This is going to be perfect for like eating on the balcony. They usually give us like a small kind of almost like a coffee table type of thing. But this time we have an official table. Oh. Ah, look at that. And look at this view. Miami is gorgeous. It's the fact that I'm really excited about having a table. <laughs> it's currently 3 o'clock and we put all our stuff away, you can see in the closet. Um, we put all our clothes away, fully unpacked our suitcases, kind of cleaned and um, like sanitized the room a bit. I'm so mad because I forgot to bring Lysol wipes, so I had to do my best with like this Lysol spray, which I kind of hate using because the smell is so strong. Um, and then wet ones. Next time I definitely have to remember to bring my Lysol wipes because it would have made that job so much easier. Also, my stomach hurts and I feel really dehydrated. So we're gonna go up to Black Holiday Cafe, which is where the spa is. We'll probably get like a green juice um, or a green smoothie and then I'm gonna fill up our water bottles with some ice cold water. And these are the new like refreshment um, package cups that you get if you get any of the drink packages and we got two refreshment packages because we don't drink alcohol. Not sure what we're gonna get into for the rest of the day. I don't think we have a cruise compass yet. So we're kind of just gonna go based off of what's happening in the app and just have today be like kind of a chill day. So we're in Vitality Cafe and I got my green juice. Mm. That's so good. You finished this in like half a second. What was it? Carrot lemonade. So I think it's carrot, lemon, apple, ginger. Yeah. I tasted it and it was actually really good. And this has spinach, celery, lemon, apple, and ginger. Very good. I think it'll be really good for skin, detoxing, and digestion. We just ordered um, bagels with cream cheese, fruits, and some glazed donuts. And then of course some coffee, well for him, because I don't drink hot coffee. 
and some orange juice. But this orange juice isn't fresh squeezed. This one right here. So we're most likely gonna go down to Vitality Cafe like we always do and get um, our like green juice. Well, he gets the, you know, the carrot lemonade with beets. Probably gonna go downstairs get our fresh juice after breakfast. But I'm kind of like craving fresh squeezed orange juice and they also do that down there. So I think we're gonna do that. But another thing I wanna do today is get, um, while we're on the topic of like breakfast and coffee, is get a coconut caramel ice latte. I had it yesterday and it was so good. Like apparently Royal's thing is like the coconut, um, coconut latte. But I always do caramel so I asked them to mix both of them and it was delicious. So I have to get another one of those today. <laughs> Wait, why? Because it was scary. Like, once you get up there, you're like, oh, shoot, this is high. Like, I thought I was going to be fine because I saw the girl go before me. Then once I got up there, I was like, uh. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's a brand new day. It is day three in our first port stop. We are in La Bari, Haiti today, which is Royal Caribbean's private island, and it's so gorgeous. It is about 9.18 right now. The ship docked, I think, at 7.30. Um, so we're a little bit late getting off. We were trying to get off when, well, we planned to get off when it docked but yeah we were sleeping that means we also missed breakfast but that's fine we'll eat on the island but right now we're all dressed and ready we just picked up the room a bit and now we're gonna go head outside for i don't even know what we're getting into today like we have no excursions booked usually we have at least one excursion planned for the day but we have none booked today so it really is a free-for-all but i know regardless we're gonna have lots of fun i just have on this cream colored um short set from Shein. I have my bathing suit under this. Originally I was just gonna wear a cover-up because it's a private island so I know automatically it's all beach and if I don't do anything else I'm gonna go to the beach but I just decided to put on an actual outfit. We got our beach bag with everything we need for the day and we are ready to go. on the island but there was no boat last time we were here there was like a little boat that kind of took us across the water so we didn't have to walk but it wasn't oh. here when we got off this time so we're taking the trek which beach are we going to i don't know what it's called is it because we're going to the beach i don't know oh maybe Okay, so here's one of the beaches. There's like several different little beaches. They all have different names on this island. This one is Columbus Cove. Okay, it looks like it says Columbus Beach is that way. It's a little bit confusing. Um, but yeah, I think last time we were here, we went up this way because we were kind of near our, like a little um, water park. Guys, look at this. There's a water slide right there. There's like the kayaks, this is where they kind of like uh, leave from. So beautiful, it's like some sort of tropical like camp. Oh, there's a swing. So If 
you will never believe how empty the beach is right now. We got access to the Suites Only Beach, which is, it's called uh, Barefoot Beach Club because Jerry's family is here and they have suites. So we got to come here for free. And um, it's almost time to like get back on the ship. So there's literally no one here. And we were in this little, first we were swimming using these like little floating mats, which is so fun. Then we hung out in there for a little bit and then we hung out in there, which was really cool. It's like there's like a table and like some couches inside this thing. Um, it's like a floating gazebo basically. And there's our ship right there, Oasis of the Seas. And look how nice this place is. They have these like cabanas, the view's gorgeous, and everyone's literally leaving, so. We basically have the beach to ourselves. Right now we're gonna go explore the bungalows. Obviously, we can't afford a cabana or a bungalow right now. I just had to walk up all those steps back there. And we're gonna check out how they look, you know manifest okay well these ones are kind of regular i'm gonna assume there's a sofa under there it'll be really good for a shade because it's also a fan but then there's these wooden chairs yeah, wooden loungers uh i feel like it should be more comfortable for the price like maybe a cushion or something here's the view water's down there it's actually a long way down there's a cameo of our ship once again and they just um, blew the horn, which means that we have to be back on the ship in like 30 minutes. But I would say today was definitely a fun day. What do you think? Yeah, had fun, definitely. So we are leaving. We will catch back up with you guys when we get on the ship. Tonight I'm excited because we're supposed to have Caribbean night in the Windjammer. And last time for Caribbean night was well, the last two times. Caribbean night in the Windjammer was so good. And the Windjammer is Royal Caribbean's buffet. Caribbean night. Best night of the cruise. So guys, we are back on the high seas. We like left pretty quickly. I was in the shower and I came out and we were already in the middle of the ocean. It's so crazy when you think about it because when you see like a ship or a boat when you're on land, it looks like it's moving so slow that it's barely moving at all. But like when you're actually on a cruise ship, these things move pretty freaking quickly. Look how fast we're moving. So, fun fact, ships move pretty fast. Now we're dressed, ready to go out and explore the ship. It's almost five o'clock, dinner doesn't start until six. So we're just gonna hang out for like the next hour and 15 minutes. And then we're gonna go and get dinner because we're both hungry. We ended up not eating much of the food. Like what I showed you guys, I actually ended up only having the hot dog, a little bit of the pasta, and then the corn. We're kind of hungry, we didn't eat much today. I'm also really thirsty. So I think we're gonna go up to Vitality Cafe first and get smoothies. And then I also kind of want to get like a frozen mocktail. So maybe we'll get like pina coladas or like, I don't know. We had that yesterday, so maybe we'll do something different. But I kind of want a smoothie and then I want a mocktail and then I want dinner. Here we go, oxtail, rice and beans, beef patty with cocoa bread and yuca. Hey you guys, so I didn't start a vlog today because I kind of wanted to have a chill day but we're in Central Park and we stumbled into the Central Park Library for the first time throughout this whole cruise and it's really neat. It's a small quiet little space and they have books for you to rent and they also have like crosswords and daily trivia which we were doing this last time when we were on Odyssey of the Seas and it was easier to find but Apparently it's been here this whole time and we were like wondering about the trivia and stuff. It's been in the library. You guys, look at all of this food that we got. Literally, there's not even enough space on the table for everything. So I got barbecue half chicken, beef brisket, corn, french fries. We had the option for two desserts, so we're gonna like share. This is a banana pudding. That one is a chocolate brookie, so I guess like a chocolate chip cookie slash brownie. We got the same thing. Beef brisket, barbecue chicken, fries, but his side is mac and cheese. And then I always wanted to try a jumbo smoked turkey leg, and today I finally get to try it. There are 
are so many things that I love about cruising, but I think this right here has to be my favorite. <laughs> 